Hey everyone, welcome to The Dark Confidants. I'm Corey. And I'm Marcus, and today we have more exciting PDH content for you. Let's jump into those decks. For this game, we have newcomer Matt on Aromi of the Dead Tide. This deck's looking to self-mill and encore back creatures using Aromi for value. Matt's opening hand was a Charcoal Diamond, Coma's Faithful, Careful Study, Prismatic Lens, two Snow-Covered Swamps, and a Snow-Covered Island. Next up, we have Kelsey back on Lay Weaver and Laura Weaver. The deck tries to go infinite with Lay Weaver and then with the infinite mana to deck out the opponents with Laura Weaver. In their opening hand, she had Ghostly Flicker, Muddle the Mixture, Arcane Denial, Freed from the Real, Ponder, Step Through, and Ban Panorama. And I'm on Cole the Forge Master. This is a combo deck that looks to sacrifice equip creatures and return them to your hand with Cole's ability and loop those creatures with a payoff on the battlefield such as Furious Assault or Impact Tremors. My opening hand was a Mindstone, Healer's Headdress, Furious Assault, Crimson Cobalts, Lorehold Campus, and a Snow-Covered Plains, along with a Boros Signet that I mulligan to the bottom. And finally, we have Dalton on Indulging Patrician. This deck is looking to gain life to trigger the commander's ability to drain each opponent at his instep. His opening hand had Sanguine Indulgence, Vampire's Bite, Kabir Crossroads, Martyr of Dusk, Two Swamps, and a Plains. Now let's jump to the gameplay and see who will achieve greatness at any cost. Yeah. So, new draw. Alright, and I'll go ahead and play Snow-Covered Land. Tap that, play Careful Study, draw two, then discard two cards from your hand. I'm discarding an Armored Scab and a Conus Faithful. Conus Faithful. And pass turn. Okay, I'll draw. <clears throat> um, I'm just going to play a Warhold Campus, comes into play tap. Pass turn. I'll draw. Play a silver cool campus. Look at that. There's that faster. Boys. <laughs> it's my first year at college. I just want to be a wizard. Um, <laughs> Bant Pembro, pass turn. Okay, I'm going to tap. I'm going to draw. Tap two for a prismatic lens and pass turn. Okay, I'll okay. tap. Draw. Snow covered planes. Slam return. I'll pay two. Play Mind Stolen. And pass turn. Right. And tap, draw. <clears throat> I will play a Swamp, tap two for Martyr of Dusk. And pass turn. Okay. Okay, play an Island. Pay one for Ponder, like the top three cards of your library. Um, this is the Mech in any order. I may shuffle. Do it that way. And then draw a card after, which is what I just did. Um, and pass turn. And return. Two, three. Bring up the me. And pass turn. And tap and draw. Play a snow covered mountain. Gonna go ahead and pay three to play. Furious Assault, it's enchantment. Uh, whenever you play a creature spell, it deals one damage to target player. And I'm going to pass turn okay. after that. Untap, come on. Play a Plains. And then this tap for one black, white, commander. Mm -hmm. Spin two in you, Corey. I will take two. <clears throat> and pass turn. Okay. Forest. I will pay one for your ambitions, draw a card, scry two. Mm -hmm. then... top. Yeah. Oh, well. Yeah. And then actually what I'm gonna do is pay one, tap and sacrifice that in Oh yeah. Yep. And then just find it says a basic forest or island, so I yep. can't grab the um, mm -hmm. level yet. I'm just gonna grab an island. That was right there. They come in tapped. Uh, yes. So, yeah. yeah, let me. There we go. And then pass turn. Untap. Turn. Snake card swap for turn. Two, four, eight. Turn all diamond. Mm -hmm. Intercept. <clears throat> Do it. Yeah, yeah. intercept. Yeah, okay. Pass turn. Pass turn. Yeah, all right. Draw. 
Play another mountain. I'm gonna pay th three for a Bonders ornament. Uh, tap, add one man of any color, or I can pay four and tap it, and each player who controls a permanent name, Bonner's Ornament, draws a card. Um, and then I will pay two for a Healer's Headdress. Um, equip creature gets plus O, plus two, and has tap, prevent the next one damage that would be dealt to a target creature or player this turn. Um, I can pay two white to attach it to target creature you control at instant speed, or I can just pay the equip cost, which is one, which equips that sorcerer speed. Um, and I will pass the turn on that. Okay. Untap. Draw. So Crossroads enters the battlefield tap. When it enters the battlefield, I gain two life. Your enchantment reads whenever it, whenever you play a creature, it deals one damage to all opponents. Target player. Target player. Okay. Yeah. Then let me... Move to combat. Mm -hmm. I'm going to swing. Three at you. I will take three. Gain one more life. Gain one, yep. Move to end step. Yep. And you all take three. <clears throat> mm -hmm. Just want to highlight Dalton's deck with the aid of his commander has already dealt 14 damage to the board at the end of his turn four. And as long as he can continue gaining life, that residual nine damage, three to each opponent, was going to add up very quickly. Yeah, it, it gets out of hand quick. Pass turn. Okay. Okay. Pay one for brainstorm. Draw three cards, then put two cards back on top in any order. Okay, do that, and then pay two for anticipate. Look at the top three cards of your library. Put one of them into your hand and the rest on the bottom. Digging. Can't stop these cantrips. <laughs> okay. There we go. And then play an island. Mm -hmm. And pass turn. Thriving Isle, because it's tapped. Island. Mm -hmm. Best turn. So here we see Matt just play a land and pass the turn. He has six mana open. The table can read this as either one of two things. Either Matt's flooding out, has nothing else to do, or he's holding up interaction because he's expecting something coming up. <clears throat> Damn. Okay. Tap, draw. Uh, play another... Mountain has no land for a turn. I'm gonna tap Bonder's Ornament for white. And then three. I'm gonna play a Stonehorn Dignitary. So one four. It says when it enters the battlefield, target opponent skips the next combat phase. I'm gonna target you, Dalton. <laughs> <laughs> um and with that oh, and that triggers Furious Assault, I will deal one damage to you as well. Okay. Um, with that, I will pass turn. Okay. One tap. Draw. Play a swamp. Come on over here now, boy. Then let's play a mana in that swamp for feed the swarm on that enchantment. Okay. I lose. What's this converted? Three. Three. Mm -hmm. So right here was a back-breaking play for me. Um, I was setting up pretty well. At this point, I only needed a sacrifice outlet, something like Ashen's Altar or like Thermopod, um, since I had the zero drop uh, creature in my hand, and I had the equipment that only costs one to equip on the field with a payoff with Furious Assault. Um, I'm not even sure if Dalton knew that it was technically a combo piece. I don't know if he was just wanting to get rid of it because it's like incremental damage for me casting creatures. Um, but this pretty much took me out of the game. Have no combat. Which is fine. It's going to be a pass turn for me. Okay. Okay. 
Okay, pay one for sleight of hand. <laughs> <laughs> Drawing all your cantrips. <clears throat> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Put one into my hand, other on the bottom. How many cards do you have? Good hand. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, so you just drew one, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and then three, four, five. Oh, treasure cruise. Oh, like. well, there it is. <clears throat> Exiling six and paying uh, two, actually. Mm -hmm. Yep, there we go. Third treasure cards. Draw three cards. Wait, I have another land return. You yet. have not, yeah. There we go. And then actually, pay one for a crop rotation. And then I do need to sacrifice land, so I'll sacrifice this island. Mm -hmm. Or actually, no, let me sacrifice this forest because it's already tapped. Mm -hmm. Um, and search for a land card. Yeah, we know what's we know what's happening. <laughs> what? Um, what? <laughs> yeah. It's a big earth chamber. <laughs> Look at that. It's come a. Oh, it doesn't say top, does it? But the yeah, earth chamber does. Yeah. Oh yeah, that does. <laughs> yeah. Okay, yeah, yeah, you're right. Okay. And you will have to bounce one of your lands. Yes, I will. So I will bounce the forest I just put down. I think I will. Discard, discard people's free search, and oh, you're also good. It's not what we want to hear. It's not. Uh, into the royal. Okay. Okay, and pass turn. Draw. I just meant they're all things I want to play. Yeah. Uh, for turn, village rights on a Rami. Oh, okay. When that happened, I think it was safe to say that he was just flooding out. Yeah, villaging rights your own commander is not the line you want to take. Not at all. So I sacrifice her, draw two cards. Mm -hmm. And now she's what? Two more, or five. Yeah. So I need to run me back out. Mm -hmm. So one, two, three, blue, black. Mm -hmm. Bring her back out. And now I'll pass. Actually. Okay. Actually. It's because of the stuff to mana? Yeah. Okay. I'll pass. I'll pass. pass. Okay. <laughs> <clears throat> Draw. I'll pay a white and a red to play Cole. I'm going to pay one. To play a Silver Life Staff. Um, Quick Creature gets plus one plus O. Oh. Whenever it is put to a graveyard, I gain three life, and its equip cost is one. And yeah, I guess I'm just going to go ahead and I'm gonna float two. I'm gonna spend one of it to equip uh, Stonehorn Dignitary with the Life Staff, and the other one to equip Cole with the Headdress. I guess I'll pass. Okay. <clears throat> Untap, draw, and run into play a Radiant Mountain. It's going to enter the battlefield tap mm -hmm. and gain two life. Yep. Move to combat. Mm -hmm. One in the air at you, Corey, and then two on the ground at you, Kelsey. Okay, I'll take, take two. one. You gain one. Oh, gain one. Uh, move to instep. I gain three life. You all lose three life. And pass turn. Okay. Down the forest. Pay three for a gift of paradise, enchanting the Senate Growth Chamber. When it enters the battlefield, I gain three life. Enchanted land has tap, add two mana of any color. So, gain three life. I think I'll just go ahead and tap this. It's been a tap for four now because mm -hmm. of this. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to get Lay Weaver out. Okay, so definite mistake here. Um, Gift of Paradise adds an additional mana ability. It doesn't add mana in addition to what the land taps for. Um, Mistake on everybody at the table's part uh, because we just assumed it worked like Market Festival, Utopia Sprawl, where it adds mana in addition, what land taps for. 
Um, thankfully, it doesn't change anything in the game. She could have just enchanted the island that she has there untapped and still got Layweaver out here. Um, I don't even think she ends up tapping the island for anything before she untaps again, so it doesn't affect anything. Uh, for the sake of the game going forward, just assume that the Gift of Paradise is on the island that's open here, and everything plays out the same. And pass turn. I'm going to tap Arami, mm -hmm. exiling three cards, exiling Village Rights, Careful Study, mm -hmm. Comus Faithful, and I'm encoring for one, two, and a blue, mm -hmm. an Armored Scab. So an Armored Scab enters the battlefield, put the top four cards of your library into your graveyard. It's like a 12. Yeah, because yeah. it makes two copies. So I'm encoring. We're doing Esper, Sadra, Laboratory Brute, Obulet, Bunch Arts, Arcane, Snow, Crypt Rats, Snowland, Slum, and Arcane Sigant. Okay. So now I have three armors and scabs, one fours each. I'm going to send all three at Dalton. Okay, how much damage? One, so three total. And then he is exiled at the end. And at that, I'm going to pay one in a black, pay a Calestria healer. Whenever he or another ally enters the battlefield, each opponent loses one life, and I gain one life. So you each lose one life, and I gain one life. And at that, I will pass turn. So a mistake right here with Mad with the Encore ability, attacking Dalton with all three arrow scabs. Technically cannot be able to do that. Each token has to attack the player that they were created for. So only one could have gone on Dalton, the other is going towards Kelsey and Corey. Life totals adjusted reflect that accordingly. Yeah, I took a few liberties because I had good blocks for Armored Scab, Kelsey had a good block for Armored Scab. Um, so I had Dalton only taking one, which is, he should have only had one coming at him anyway. Uh, something we just didn't catch with Aromi and Encore until after the set that we played, unfortunately. But thankfully, it didn't impact with any of the games we played, so that's the one silver lining in this situation. Yeah, and the uh, second thing with Encore is that they exile at the end of turn, at the end of combat, yeah. which is how Matt was sequencing it. But if he uh, still had the armor scabs there, played the creature, then the exile still again. Doesn't yeah, affect it doesn't affect how things turned out here. Uh, just a minor sequencing thing. Exactly. Um, but we definitely wanted to point it out. Okay. <clears throat> Draw. I'm going to pay one and tap and sacrifice my install on the draw card. And I think I'm just going to pass turn. Okay. Yeah. And tap. Draw. I'm going to play Barons. I just tap to gain my life. Mm -hmm. Let's do a black. The colorless. For Malachir Blood Priest. Okay. okay. When it enters the battlefield, each opponent loses X life and you gain X life, where X is the number of creatures in your party. He is the only one being a cleric. Unfortunately, soldier and noble weren't included yeah. in that. Um, you each lose one life and you gain one life? I gain one life, correct. Right. Move to combat. Just one of you, Corey, in the air. I'm going to tap Cole with the equip ability to mm -hmm. prevent the next one damage that will be dealt to me. <laughs> 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 Let me. It's the one time that comes. Let yeah. <laughs> me pass turn. My trigger! <laughs> Here we go. Oh, okay. You're all welcome, by the way. <laughs> I'll get my blood, damn it. <laughs> I'll get it. Thank you. Uh, play an island. Cat for four. It'll be um, three blue and a forest. Basically, having one floating. Um, Bay from Nuril. 
and try and see clay weaver. I will um, respond to the mat first. Okay. I'll tap two and play counter spell when I'm free from the rail. Okay. I'm going to tap one with my forest floating, arcane denial, counter target spell. I have no response. I'm in Boros colors. <laughs> Same. All right. So okay. Resolves. That yes. resolves. Free from the rails resolves. Yeah. I tap her to untap my target lands and then I can tap everything. You have tap, infinite mana. Do mm -hmm. all of that fun stuff. I tried. And then let me get Lore Weaver out. <laughs> yep. And then I'll pay into Lore Weaver to mill everybody. Yep. Yep. We draw our decks and die from drawing out. Yes. All right. There we go. <laughs> and here we see Kelsey finally win with Lore Weaver and Lay Weaver. With multiple cantrips throughout this deck, we saw Ponder, Serum Visions, Anticipate, Brainstorm. <laughs> Uh, slide a hand into a treasure cruise, yeah. so multiple cantrips, and opening hand, ban panorama. Yeah, not even a colored mana source. And she kept it, and that's the power of this deck. <sighs> Sometimes it's better to be lucky than good. <laughs> um, yeah, I mean, this... I think we all kind of knew what we were getting into. Um, I definitely think the Coldex pretty fun. Um, the Aromi deck, I think there's a lot of potential there. The Indulging Patrician seems really cool as an aggro deck, too. But... Bringing that to a table with Layweaver, Lore Weaver, I mean, that's one of the, the top best decks in the format. We kind of knew what we were getting into. Yeah. Um, I sure wasn't going to have any interaction for this. Dalton probably wasn't. Um, Matt tried, but, you know, she had the Arcane Denial in hand from the beginning, so we weren't stopping her yeah. at this point. But, yeah, it's, um, who would have who would have thought? Lay, <laughs> Layweaver, Lore Weaver was good. <laughs> All right, so that was it for game one. Uh, we recorded one other game that we played with these decks, so that's going to be coming out in two weeks from the release of this one. Uh, so be sure to check that out when that drops. And if there's a particular uncommon creature that you'd like to see featured as a PDH commander, maybe from all time or from the recent sets, Midnight Hunt or Crimson Vow, yeah. let us know in the comments below, and be sure to join us next time to see who will achieve greatness at any cost.